Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Wake Studio Slideshow Repeater Tutorial. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering how do you add a slideshow repeater here? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy. So first things first is you need to open up your project. Now, by the way, you need to do this via your Wix Studio account. So you need to build the, your website here in the Wix Studio version. So not just the ordinary Wix here. You need to have the Wix Studio. In this case, what we need to do is we need to actually open up our project here or you have this project here. In this case, go and click on the plus button or add elements button at the top left. And in here, you want to actually choose layout tools. Now, in this case, look for a flex box here. You want to select this and you want to select one of them. In this case, I'm going to actually use this one and drag it in here. Now, what I like to doing here is I want to actually resize it so that the whole thing actually fits the whole section here. So let's just resize this one. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we want to open up layers here and you want to go ahead and select the actual flex box option now on the right side you want to open up the property section here and what you need to do is you need to change a few things here so first things first is you need to change the display type so in this case i'm going to use slides here now once you selected that we could go ahead and change the direction if you want to and but in this case let's go ahead and start editing in this case let's go ahead and click on the first item here now for the first item, I actually want to add some elements here. Let's go ahead and click on quick add here. Like for example, I want to add an image for this one. And I also want to add a title for this one. In this case, you go ahead and add whatever you want in here. Like for example, a paragraph. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on the layers icon again. From here, you want to minimize the first item and you want to drag the second item at the very top so that it's going to actually be the first thing that you'll be seeing here, which in this case, you could go ahead and start editing it again. So for example, for the second layer, you could go ahead and add a video here if you want to add your title. So obviously the design itself may be subjected to you. So in this case, go ahead and decide it as much as you can. So in this case, uh, we are good with this one. Let's go ahead and open up our layers again. And we want to actually uh, put the third one at the very top here. And for this one, let's just, let's just add a shape here. And let's go ahead and start adding a title as well. Let's go add it in here. In this case, same thing. You want to go to layers and you want to actually add it at the very top here. Click on the plus button top left and you can go ahead and add whatever. So for example, I want to add a gallery here. So it should start adding it. So let's just wait for it to fully be added here. But it's actually fully added. We should be able to start uh, organizing it. In this case, once you've done that, you want to click on uh, the uh, layers here. And once you actually put the very first one here. So in this case, you go and start organizing it as much as you can. In this case, you want to click on Flexbox here. Go to the property section here. And you want to actually change a few things here. For example, if you want to hide the scroll bar here, just click on the switch item here. And from here, you want to click on the add option here. And from here, you can go ahead and add your navigation. So for example, I want to use arrows or you can use buttons here if you want to. But in this case, I want to use arrows. Once you've done that, you go ahead and start testing this. So let's go ahead and click on the preview button here. And as you can see, whenever we click on the arrows, that should automatically move us to the other uh, sections that we have right now. In this case, as you can see, it's going to go back. So this is actually a pretty automatic thing that you could do or add in your website, which is pr something pretty cool. But yeah, so in this case, uh, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.